Phoenix is rising. The reason why a lot of cluster B personalities, which includes narcissism, are hard to detect is because they fly under the radar of social norms. Let's say normal people, when they meet, they ask each other questions so they can find out whether they vibe with that person, whether that's somebody that they want to spend time with. Whether, you know, you like anime, what kind of anime do you like? Are you an otaku or are you just a watcher, you know, just like the artistry? Um, What type of job field are you in? What's your career? When a narcissist or cluster B personality is asking you questions, they're asking you questions to know what the competition is. Because it's not, it's not love that attracted them to you. It's the vibration, the energy around you, who you are, what you can become or what you have become that they're attracted to. So that it's something that they want, but it's also something that threatens them because they recognize people who can see through them. And whether you're aware of your gifts and abilities or not, they know, which is why you get to know yourself. Heal that inner child inside of you. Grow him or her up. So that way you have the strength and the wisdom to, to know, okay, this is what's going on. Because they hide. So they're mirroring normal um, human speeches and human reactions while they are inhuman. Because the end result, usually result, it, it happens that their target becomes crazy, has complex post-traumatic stress disorder, or is suicidal, you know, because they've been gaslit. They've been told that they're, they're not shit after being idealized and, you know, swoon over. And then all of a sudden this, here comes this creature, you know, that changes on them. They see the creature and, you know, they drop. So when you get to know yourself, When you start healing and dealing with your wounds, you have a defense against the cluster B personality. Your blessings are in your ashes, Phoenix. Rise.